What's up, Summers, and welcome back to another Pro Guides Wild Rift video. My name is Nathan Ng, and today we'll be showing you the best duo and trio champions. So, if you're interested in matching against Kangas, Tia, and I for the duo and trio queue, then hit that sub button and let's get right into it. Because you definitely want to, because Kangas is going to throw, and you're going to get some free LP. Anyway. <laughs> all the time, bro. When you're about to play together, be it as two or three, you wanna have the most synergistic champions possible. When combined champions that work really well together, your chances of winning increases by a lot. It just makes it so much easier to play the game, especially if your other teammates are underperforming. More than that, you're gonna enjoy the game way more than you do on your own. Let's go ahead and start off with some duo combinations on the Dragon Lane. Kai'Sa is a very popular champion. She offers high damage, fast movement, and tools to easily relocate herself in team fights. She's fine with killing frontliners as well as diving into backline assassin carries. Her passive ability allows her to deal huge chunks of damage to tank your targets and objectives. All around, Kai'Sa is one of the best champions that, if you want a main AD, you have to pick up. She's just that good. To improve your overall laning phase, you can think about adding a Janna to your lane. With a Janna, you can guarantee absolute lane control. In a 2v2 environment, there is no way the enemy can contest your ability to push wave and hit level 2 first. Outside of just pushing, Janna may fish with tornadoes just to give Kai'Sa a neat chance to hit her Void Seeker. If you happen to hit a tornado on the enemy, they're going to have a very bad time. The tornado itself deals a significant amount of damage, but if you pair it with Zephyr and Kai'Sa's Void Seeker, you best believe that the enemy already is close to dying shortly after. Apart from enabling Kai'Sa, Janna also peels like no other. If anybody wants to jump on Kai'Sa, the Janna can just press one of her two NOPE buttons and deny their entire engage. Also, you've probably seen it yourself already. When you're in range of Kai'Sa, what's going to happen to you? Yep, a swift and painful death. Overall, it's a very broken combination of champions that scales a lot with how good you are as a player. Don't be afraid to give this combo a shot. It might take some time to get used to, but you're ultimately gonna love it. Before we show you guys the next duo combo, make sure you check out our Discord in the description down below. We have a great community there, and make sure you check it out because we all have a really great time. And you won't miss me when we won in Kangas again, and winning. But other than that, thank you guys, and a huge shout out to everybody who did drop by my stream from that Discord. It was a lot of fun. Anyway, make sure you also hit like and subscribe if you like our content and don't want to miss anything Wild Rift ever again. Now, let's go back to the video. Next up on the list is a combination of champions that is just impossible to deal with when they're ahead. Jinx and Lulu are more reserved on the dual lane. Their goal isn't to smash their opposition, they're quite fine with just going even with their dynamic scaling. Jinx's laning consists of her using her long range auto attacks to punish the enemy for not spacing properly. If you combine that range with the bonus attack speed, damage, and movement speed a Lulu provides you, you have a very obnoxious combo. Keep in mind that the bonus movement speed changes a lot about proper spacing, making it very hard and very difficult to avoid any auto attacks from Jinx. In addition to providing some damage to Jinx, Lulu also denies a lot of assassins in the game. Anyone who wants to jump onto Jinx can potentially get polymorphed or knocked up by Wild Growth. This way, players have to think twice before jumping on somebody that's close to Lulu. The primary goal of Jinx is to simply just get one kill and get excited. Once excited, Jinx absolutely takes over team fights in a dominating fashion. There's a lot of other lane combos that you can play with, but generally pair up Janet with any kind of ADC and Alistar with an aggressive ADC such as Draven. And now it's time for the fan favorite question of the day. What combination of champions are you playing when you're queuing with your friends? Let us know in the comments down below as we love hearing from you. Now, let's jump back right into the video. Moving on to the dragon lane, let's look at the jungle mid lane duos. If you think about having a consistent impact on your games, Orianna will be your go-to pick in the mid lane. She excels at laning and loves crushing her lane opponents. Her ball is a powerful tool that you have to respect. If you don't respect the ball inside of a team fight and you get hit by Shockwave, you're probably just dead. Now, if you think about combinations that are just insane with each other, you have to think about the champions that want to go in. Orianna then attaches her ball to the champion that jumps onto the enemy team and casts Shockwave. If you want some high octane fights and fast gameplay, then pair up with a Lee Sin, then you're in for some highlight plays. If you'd rather want a consistent approach to take over games slowly, then just play with Shivana. Shivana is infamous for her ability to farm and take down objectives. Her damage is insanely high and she becomes a monster if she picks up multiple dragons. Now, if you attach an Orianna ball to her, you might already know what's going to happen. Better yet, even if you happen to somehow have a weaker teamfight, the Shivana can still pressure the side lanes by taking down towers with the power of Mastermind. Another champion that is somewhat similar to Shivana is Vi. With Vi, you can basically do the same thing. Attach the ball, send her in, and press Shockwave and kill your enemies. However, from my experience, it just works better with Shivana. Speaking of dragons, Aurelian Soul is a champion that loves to rotate around the map. He spends the least amount of time in his own lane, and he just really wants to accelerate the pace of the game. Think about any aggressive champion and play them with an Aurelian Soul. If required, the soul can just dip out of lane and come assist you. 
especially champions such as an Olaf and Lee Sin, who are reliant on getting a lead early, will really benefit from having Aurelian Soul on their team. Whatever play they're going to make, they can almost be certain that Aurelian Soul is always going to be there. Time for a more unusual duo combination of lanes, Baron and mid lane. Pair up Yasuo and Malphite and you got yourself a fancy wombo combo. Malphite is known for being a consistent laner that doesn't really die. Nonetheless, he's not really known for solo killing his opponent at any time, but he doesn't really have to. His ultimate ability will always be a huge game changer inside of teamfights, so what about adding some more value to that? Yasuo instantly comes to mind because he can perfectly capitalize on Malphite's knockup from super far range. Compared to Malphite, Yasuo is a laner that loves to brutalize his lane opponents. I can surely speak for all the non-Yasuo mains, we hate his sweeping blade range. By all means, these aren't the only combinations that you can play, there are a lot more that you can explore and practice with. But now let's conclude the duo list and move on to the trio list. Similar to the duo list, Orianna is one of the most consistent champions you can pick. But now it's just about adding more value to the already existing duo champions. What duo champions can be even stronger when you add another specific champion to them? What about Janna, Kai'Sa, and Orianna? With these three champions, you're almost guaranteed to have full control over the course of the game, unless you or multiple teammates at once happen to make brutal mistakes. Nobody can really touch you unless you disrespect their champions or vision in general. For this combination, it's very important to develop a consistent strategy to reliably scale up to a point where you cannot be dealt with anymore. The primary goal of that combination is to take all the major objectives after they've scaled. You don't want to take fights that aren't in your favor when you have such great scaling available to you. Ultimately, this is a test of patience that if you happen to pass, will yield great results. Next on the trio list is a combination that really packs a punch, Amumu, Seraphine, and Misfortune. Amumu is known for his strong team fighting and overall tankiness. He just wants to go in and stay in. Misfortune as a champion provides strong laning and utility in the form of Make It Rain and Bullet Time. You probably learned that already, but you don't really want to stay in bullet time for too long. Seraphine, on the other hand, has very high cooldowns, but provides nearly infinite sustain once she's scaled. In combination with her ability to sustain her team through longer periods of fighting, she can also completely take over her fight. In light of her encore ability being extended when it hits allies or enemies, her potential impact on a fight is immense. Now, remember Misfortune's bullet time and Amumu's Curse of the Sad Mummy and combine all of them. What happens? They just die while being CC'd for ages. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot, when Amumu deals damage to a target, he's cursing them. That curse makes the target take 10% additional true damage from incoming magic damage for 3 seconds. You think you could still survive that? I don't think so. Time for something more exotic. Orianna on the Baron lane, Aurelian Soul on the middle lane, and Shivana in the jungle. This combination of champion wants to get their jungler everything. There is no way that Shivana is getting invaded with that combo. In addition to that, it's almost certain that you're going to get the first dragon as Orianna and can hard push the lane. The enemy will now be forced to make a decision, drop the farm and rotate or give up dragon. If you ever face that combo, be wary when you don't see the Aurelian soul. He can just fly in with an enormous star search, utilizing his comet of legend, stunning your entire team. You have to be ready to set up proper vision beforehand. Once stunned, Orianna is going to do very quick work of you, and Shivana can just do what she does best, take down any objective in her way. The most crucial part about this combination is communication. You have to speak about what you want to do, how you want to do it, and where you're going to do it. Any mistake in the sequencing and you might end up losing the fight. So that's why you're going to have to do a little bit of practicing before you can try it in ranked. Generally speaking, if you play anything with Orianna, please speak with each other. The Orianna player cannot always see what's happening on your screen when the ball is attached to you. Last but definitely not least comes a very interesting constellation of champions that you usually won't see that often, Akali, Gragas, and Yasuo. In this combination, Gragas works as a facilitator for Yasuo and Akali. Just by throwing his ultimate ability, he allows Yasuo to just ult somebody. If the stars happen to align perfectly, he might even be able to ult 5 people at once. Realistically speaking, this isn't going to happen too frequently, but there is some good news. Most of the time, as Gragas throws his ultimate onto the enemy team, he's splitting them apart. On one side of the fight, Yasuo can just ult somebody and lock them in place, and on the other side of the fight, Akali can just look for an isolated target and quickly assassinate. You categorize this combo as a highlight play combo. It isn't the most consistent combination of champions, but if you practice them and work together, you're surely going to have a lot of fun in your games. Keep in mind there are countless of other possible combinations that you can try out that aren't on this list, but just remember to consider how those two or three champions get synergized with each other. Create the best strategies for your game and grow together as a team. And that's what Duo and Trio Qs are all about. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a sub and like on our channel. We got so much amazing content planned for the future releases, and we can't wait to share it with you. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.